Hello everybody, this is Elisha Keating for WisdomSeekers.net We have a website again. Please feel free to look below for the information if you're looking for a reading. If you want to, want to find out about it and talk to me personally, you're more than welcome to. And this is for the air signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn for April 17th, 2023, and it's a Monday, so it's a regular day, but it's a, the cards say it's a pretty decent day. I can see that already, right? So the Two of Wands is the first card I pulled, and it's a businessman who's looking back over his life going, well, it's been a good life, I need to make a change. And basically, anybody who's on the spiritual path right now, they're finding this is what's happening, whether they're aware of it or not. So since we had the heavens cross, it's like what we were doing is shifting and changing. Some of it's very, very different. And some of it is just a little bit to the side, just a tiny bit different. But I can almost guarantee very few people are exactly on the same path or when the dust settles beyond the say exactly on the same path they were before heavens crossed which is about two weeks ago and uh, what we were focusing on the last 15 years of our life will have shifted and changed and why do I say that because the next is the Queen of Wands and as a group reading it's an energy and it's the energy of the completion of a cycle or ending of a cycle beginning of a new cycle because there's never an ending without a beginning it's also very important that you realize that you will have more access to more knowledge than you had before you, you may not know where you get the information from. You might be from your subconscious. It might be from something you read years ago and, and it just sort of comes back and hits you. Or you may never have read about it and you have no idea. That just means that you're getting information from your guides. Because one of the things that happened with the Heaven's Cross is the energy opened up from the from the higher dimensions and came down with that what that means is that we get to to talk and deal closer with our guides our our oversoul that which is us but in a higher energy level and uh, of course they're going to have more information than we do and this is why i say that the judgment card and the judgment card again it used to mean judge being judgy. Well, that's no longer the the course of events that we're going through. We've got we've risen high enough to make the judgment call that what we have done is spent eons of eons of time learning lessons. Nothing's good. Nothing's bad. Ultimately, if if we've done if we paid our karma and we've gone into dharma, then yes, everything has been a lesson to make us come to the level we're at now. So it is a positive card. We're seeing things clearly for the first time, probably in forever. And it is an interesting card because they got the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Cups is happy. It's not joy. Joy is different, it's happy. And so that's something that, as a general rule, light workers have not been around or dealt with happy for a long, long time. So we want to be, we want happy to be part of, uh, of our life. We want to be, well, I, I like joy. I like the energy of joy better, but happy is good. And it's, uh, it's something, it's not wild and crazy, you know, like up and up and up really high, down really low. It's, it's gen a, more of a gentle movement, gentle sine wave energy. So we are definitely moving into a more, more mature form of dealing with things. When we move into this, then we will probably very likely 
have less judgment of others as well because we we will look at things and go huh that's interesting but you'll wait to see what the last word is and there is never a last word there is never a, never a total finishing something may come to completion like a cycle but there's always something more to grow to learn to experience so the last card is take the day nine of pentacles and use it as a day well earned you've put in the effort you've you've dealt with some heavy energies now is the day to, is to enjoy that the fruits of your labor it's a rest spot it's not a stop there's but it's a place where you can integrate that which you've learned it also has the butterflies around it so it means that there's more to come but if you can integrate that which you've done and which you've learned then uh, life is easier going forward all right trust yourself namaste namasco and i love you and you i do love bye